Hello everyone, it's the Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. We are back. Wow, we haven't done one of these for ages, but we are back to have a look at Sim Dashboard again. Now, I have done a couple of Sim Dashboard screens over the years, uh, and it has been a while since I've done an update to one. So I am delighted to say, after my revelation recently with the vehicle control add-on, that I have made a few tweaks to my fence screen. In fact, this is an alternative version of my fence screen. We've still got the one that has guidance steering on for you fans of guidance steering, but we have created a vehicle control add-on version as well. So let's take a quick look at it. I'm not going to go into a full detailed run through of what this screen does because my previous version for all of the controls of the tractor still stands firm and it is correct and is the same as it was before. Um, but we have changed some of the icons along the black bar at the bottom that you see there, which is the controls originally on the screen for guidance steering now for vehicle control add-on. Now, I do get questions quite a lot still around the SIM dashboards and what mods you need to include with it. Um, I try to keep them to base game minimum and maybe one other mod. So in this instance, vehicle control add-on or in, in terms of the other screen, guidance steering. But invariably, I try and keep it to the base game mods. It is designed to work with key commands or base game key commands as best. So if you have got custom key commands in, some of the settings may not work for you. This tends to work best if your key binds are set to the base game ones. Now, if you know your way around Sim Dashboard a bit, you can go in and tweak some of those settings to your personal key binds. But in general, it works well with the base game keybinds. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's have a look at the screen. Now here it is. I've got a second camera set up here. Uh, I was going to do it on screen um, digitally, but I thought this might help you better see the, um, the button presses when I do them. So let's run along the bottom. Like I said, all of the stuff here, the, old, the, the actual Fent screen, Everything is as was in the previous version, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. We may touch on a couple of things as we raise and lower implements and things like that. But um, let's quickly go and have a look at each of the new buttons along the bottom. So with vehicle control add-on, we've got this one set as the on-off uh, for vehicle control add-on. This is set width. This is move one row to the left. This is move one row to the right, turning. So turning and heading back in the opposite direction for both of those. This adjusts the row to the left and the right uh, incrementally. And I'll show you, I'll show you all of these working as well. This jumps to the next row to the left, but carrying on in the same direction. This jumps to the next row to the right, carrying on in the same direction. This here rotates the course to the left and this one rotates the course to the right. This turns off vehicle control add-on completely. And this at the end here is your menu button. Right, we'll just jump into the cab here and I'll quickly show you that menu button so you can pull up your menu like so. Now to remove that menu, you do have to hit escape to get out of it. But let's roll into the field now and let's just show you how I've set this up. So. Again, I'm going to use some of the other buttons on the sim dash here so you can see what I'm doing, but we're rolling into the field here. We've got our implement. So what I'm going to do, it's our rear hitch here. It tells us it's the PowerFlex 95 there. So I'm going to hit this button here to unfold it. And there we go. When it finishes unfolding, that will turn to green to tell you you've got an unfolded implement. Now we don't have a PTO on this, but if we did, we could power up the machine here. But there we go, down to the bottom. And there we go, green. Uh, also tells you here you're unfolded. Now we can lower this down here, like so, and it drops into the ground, which is great. Now, um, that's everything working from a uh, implement perspective. So what we want to do now is go around and turn on VCA. So if I tap this button here, there you go, you hear the bleep. Now look, you've got a very narrow blue line there. In fact, let me go into the menu and change draw marker of lane guidance on so we can see the lines the whole time now just just for the purposes of this demo so you can see there we've got a very very narrow width line there so ideally we have a button here and i can tap that and it will set the width so keep an eye on the screen there you go we've set it to the width of the implement now so like i said 
vehicle control add-on um if you watched my video on it a couple of days ago go check it out again um very very easy to use just a couple of buttons to get it up and running so um i'll show you the return or the reverse uh, lane changing on the, in a minute when we're running but now just to show you we can adjust this to the left or we can adjust it to the right then we can jump an entire row to the left or jump an entire row to the right we can rotate the course as well left and right there we go let's try and put it back central doesn't really matter for the purposes of this and you can turn it off completely so there you go I've turned it off completely there right now we are ready to do a test so let's turn it back on there we go everything looking good there um, I have set my cruise control to I think a maximum of 11 miles an hour so all is looking good there I just need to tap the middle of my speedo there turns green and we are on our merry way so we're just going to roll along here for a little bit. I'm not going to go to the end of the field. It would take us ages if we were going to do that. But we'll get along to the end here. I will raise the implement. We will turn around. And we'll head back the other way. So I'm going to show you basically these two buttons here. Again, all of this being done directly through the sim dash. Um, nothing. The only keyboard key I've used so far is escape to get out of the menu earlier on. Um, now you can if you want to if I go menu now it pulls up vehicle control add-on menu but I can actually go up here hit the main menu to escape back out it's a limitation of uh, sim dashboard but right let's raise our implement and let's turn one row round to the left and there we go facing the other direction he'll get lined up now and I will lower down the implement again and off we go in the other direction brilliant so we'll roll down to the end again and as soon as we get there we will raise the implement I'm actually going to knock my cruise control down just a couple of miles an hour um, it was a little bit fast on the turn there now obviously the implement runs faster than that so you can play around with this and do whatever you see fit uh, but for the purposes of the demo I just want to show you the turn nice and clean but uh, here we are, getting towards the end now. Let's assume we're there now, shall we? We'll be here all night. So, raise our implement, and this time we're going to do another turn round to the right. But there we go. Around we go. And as soon as we're in position, we're going to drop the implement down again, and off we go. And it is as simple as that. So... I'd love to say there's more to it, but um, that is the new version of my Fent SIM dashboard screen with vehicle control add-on included. I hope you like it. Uh, I'm going to put a link down in the description from where you can download it from. If you've not used SIM dash before, board before, I've got a load of different vids on it. So at the end of the vid here, I'll make sure that that playlist is included in the uh, in the uh, in the next videos. Uh, and other than that. I hope you enjoy it, I hope you have fun with it, I hope it kind of adds a little bit of immersion to your gameplay, and um, yeah, that's it really. Nothing more to say than that. So, while we lift this up and rotate round for another pass, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.